So I'll upload that information tomorrow. Uh, it'll get approved by the regional coordinator. The FCC will process it Monday morning about 4 a.m. Uh, at that point, you, you're given a W number that says that you can pay your fees and then they'll issue you your license after you pay your fees. So please read the fee application forms I gave you all the way through. Um, the guy that wrote it is real nitpicky, but he's 100% accurate and it's helpful. Uh, tech committee report. Q1 uh, hey. repeaters uh, down. It's too stinking hot to do anything with that right now. Hopefully we'll be out of that in the next week or two. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> optimistically. <laughs> And uh, the AQ repeater is doing fine, and also we're still awaiting uh, sponsorship to get back up onto Integris to get the 443-275 reactivated with the new repeater that we bought. And that will be a fusion and regular FM repeater when it goes into service. Okay, uh, thank you. Dwayne, did you want to do yours now, or did you want to wait? Um, did you have some speaking to do? I'll wait. Okay, time that report. Can you pull up uh, the electronic? Okay, this is between now and next month. Uh, we've got that to the end of the year. It, it's kind of like a DX, but they're parked. That's that PA 100 THA LES, and that's a Dutch contest. Uh, the North American Ready is this weekend. Uh, the CQ Worldwide VHF, are you going to play in that? No, I'm no. Need to read. Okay, I will. Uh, it's this weekend. Oh, are you? Are you? Okay, use on the air. And um, Dwayne is going to talk at Ham Holiday on Parks on the Air, is that correct? So between now and then, I'll go ahead and put some Parks on the Air. Tennessee is having their Parks on the Air. Oh, back, oh, back down, that, that's the end of it right there, sorry. That's for next month. Well, I'll cover it now so you can be prepared. <laughs> yeah. um, between our next meeting, we'll have the 1010 phone contest the first week of August, the European HF, the North American CW, are you guys, CW guys gonna play in that? Okay, how? No. no. Um, the worldwide, I mean, worked all Europe, CW. Uh, QSO party gonna be Maryland and D Maryland, DC next month. Kentucky Parks on the Air, and then the North American Single Side Band is next month. Um, so anyway, that's the contesting for next month. And uh, one little comment. ARL requires a single point of contact to add and subtract people to the OCAPA, Oklahoma City Auto Patch Association contest list. We are super casual. There's no harm, no foul. If you want to get one contest a year, if you want to get five contests a week, we don't care. We're not the Yankee Clipper Club and the North California DX Club. We, we do it for fun. In the beginning, I asked people to call me with or email me with their results and I re report them. Um, I had not had a lot of luck with getting everybody uh, reporting their contest results. So I, I'm going to say, uh, you're welcome to send it to me. I'm just not, not going to probably make public announcements of how well we did. In this month's catalog, Dwayne, hold up your hand, third in the nation in a uh, VHF, C, uh, uh, QRP VHF, correct? No, we're really round up. They are already round up. Okay, but third in the third in the nation. And the two clubs that I'm aware of in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Auto Pass Association and Oklahoma DX Association made the, the list. We're very casual. Um, if people get more interested, if you'd like to be in the contest club, drop me an email and I'll put you, I'll send it in to ARL, get you on the list. And if interest picks up and I start getting lots and lots of reports, then maybe I'll go back to reporting that. But other than that, I'll you, you're welcome to send it to me. I just probably just won't distribute because I don't get everybody's results, which makes it just a partial. All right, thank you. Thank you.